Hey, how's it going? So I am playing Kerbal again, and my next goal is to try and figure out docking. So I've been playing around with this kind of a ship again, the Eco ECO dual ships some more. Uh, the thing, I made a few changes to the snack, I'm still tweaking the snack. Um, it's far from the most efficient snack I could do. I don't really know what I'm doing yet in this game. The main difference from the previous ones, other than the stack being completely different, is there is a handy dandy little docking doodad at the top of this crew capsule. And the idea being, I'll launch one of these with Hyman in it, and then I'll launch another one, and they'll dock. And then maybe switch pilots or something. So like Hyman comes back in the other one, or what have you, right? So let me pull the lever just a bit. I need my orbital info. Oh, I've already got an apoapsis so a lot, so I'm going to turn that off. Now, drop these guys, and give it a little bit of thrust so it's okay. So I've got nearly all of my liquid fuel. How much burn do I have to go full? 44 seconds at full burn. Okay. Which means, if I remember right, to push my periapsis, push my periapsis, I want to, at surrounding my apoapsis, uh, full burn. So basically, 44 seconds. So when I'm 22 seconds out, full burn. So it's 22 seconds before and then after. And that should... So I've got a few... I've, I'm still kind of like... Not that great at orbiting, but yeah. I've managed to do it a few times now. So I've got... Oh, actually I've got this... This thing is a just a little thing to figure out how to dock, but whatever. So basically, yeah, your apoapsis is your high point. The periapsis is somewhere in Kerbal, so you're getting a big ellipse. And I want to burn here, so basically for 20 seconds before and 20 seconds after, roughly, is what I need to do. And that should push the other end out. So you burn at your apoapsis to push you burn prograde at your apoapsis to make sure it's that. To, yeah, you burn prograde at your apoapsis to push out your periapsis, or vice versa. You burn retrograde the, to go the other way, if I'm remembering this right. Which I think I am. We shall see if this works. I'm still not good at orbits. I might give it just a bit so that I can. Yeah, so I'm not actually on my. So all I really want from the last of this 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 liquid fuel stage is to fix my periapsis so I have a proper orbit. That's the goal. So let's see if I get I'm understanding this right, the orbits. So 44 seconds of full burn means I start right. So, periapsis is going down. Well, up actually is negative. We'll do it. We'll do it without ripping up my rocket. <laughs> I probably want to turn up RCS yes, and do it. Just let it kill for a vector. It's a vector for us rocket. Yeah, 
yeah, so it is dropping pretty quickly. And boom, there we go. Um, I'm just gonna let it go. And that's the period? Yeah. Hey, cool. So I'm in an orbit. Of some sort. Okay, cool. And now I just need to. So I've got a lot of basically a completely full liquid fuel. Cool. Let's let's do the same thing. But a second time. Oh, actually, I actually probably should deploy my solar sails. Where where are you, ship? Oh, there we go. I wish I had some lights on you or something. Deploy the solar sails. Can barely see them. There we go. On the dark side. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. So that's decent. I am going to go to. Oh, not here. Oh, actually, I think there was a. Well, whatever. Space Center. So this one's eight, seven and eight. Save, crew, Jogan, one Jogan. I'll just do that, it's just the pilot. Oh, and I kind of want a light on this stupid thing. I think that's a, an option. I should have put it on the other one. Isn't there like light? Light. No. Yeah, Illuminator Mark 1. Illuminator Mark 2. What's the difference? Less electric charge per minute. Symmetry. Yeah, and then I want to rotate. No. That's the wrong way. This way? This way? There we go. Yeah. Because basically, I want to be able to see as I approach. Maybe I do want the other one. Let's do this one. What's that look like? is that. That's kind of crazy looking. Maybe I won't do all this symmetry. <laughs> Let's just do one. For now. Uh, kind of right above the NASA. Right there. Yeah, and then I've got just a light on something. Oh, let's launch. EcoDuel 8. I know this design can hit orbit at least. The question is can I hit the same orbit roughly? And then I need to learn how to intercept. So oh that was the other thing like this separator should be in the same thing, but it's not. Oh well, whatever. I'll leave it for now. Jogan and I forgot who was in seven. 
Kaiman? Kaiman? Something like that? Okay, 140k apoapsis is more than sufficient. Uh, 43 second max burn. So yeah, I'll wait till about 20 seconds in. Probably should put RCS thrusters down in here too. Whatever. The next change for nine. And the purpose for figuring out and docking, of course, is I want to build a permanent station in low curval orbit because that would be cool. seconds. Thank you. 
and then I'll deploy its solar sails. Or not solar sails. Solar sails would be cool. But, uh, we don't have those. Solar panels. There we go. And how are we on stuff? I use some mono propellant. Mm, still plenty. There we go. All right. So then, so this is eight. This is seven. Yeah, they're even kind of vaguely similar orbits. Uh, sweet. So yeah, I'll just need to match up these orbits now and make an approach happen. All right. And that's what I'll do next. How is my orbit? Let's see. 142, 347. Yeah, that's stable forever, basically. Yeah, so next video, I will actually try and dock these two things. Since I actually got two of them up here. Awesome. See you later.